herps, herps. Oh, sure, he got the her herps, herps, herps. My boy got the itchy dick, herps, herps. He got a big bitch with the herps, yeah! <laughs> oh, boy, listen, a lot of you might know, by the way, Calvin gave me this hat last time I was in New York, and I remember I posted this and Calvin said, Jerry, I don't care how much Grand Theft Auto you're playing. I don't care what you're doing. My boy has got to talk about this goddamn story. And Usher has got the bumpy dick. He's got the scratch. He's got the herps. Herps. And guess what, he, th listen, this story has gotten so goddamn big, there's even a fucking press conference. Now we're not talking about football drafts or transfer windows, we're talking about what bitches got the herps from Usher. And guess what, there's apparently a man that's got the herps. Yes, Usher gave another man the herps now, we don't know what's going on there. Listen. What Usher does in his free time is completely up to him, okay? But my god, Usher, if there's one thing you need to learn, son, if there's one thing you got to do when you're fucking these bitches in a concert, you gotta strap it up before you slap it up, okay? Tim Westwood said that shit on Radio 1, and that's a lesson that I've taken with my life. You gotta strap it up before you slap it up. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with that bumpy dick, okay? You're gonna end up like the, the, the fucking road workers. More bumpier than a road trying to go to Dublin. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> So, um, let me take his hat off, by the way, um, shout out to my boy Calvin, shout out to, he's a fucking legend, Calvin, you absolute legend, -y. so, um, let's, let's get into the news that apparently happened today, so unless you've been living on Mars, Usher has been on the news for weeks, and apparently, um, it was revealed that he has the herps, okay, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I know it's have a sick sense of humor. I'm sorry, but here's the th here's the thing with it, right? There's two women now saying that Usher gave her them the herps, okay? And not only that, but there's also a man involved. Now, apparently there was a press conference which I'm going to be reacting to. Um, apparently, every, uh, people, uh, when I said I was going to do this story, people were telling me, Jerry, you got to react to the actual video that happens of them doing a press conference, all right? You got to react to it, okay? So, I'm going to react to it, all right? Um, but this is going to be, this is quite serious for us here because, like, it's not like, uh, with the whole Charlie Sheen thing and stuff, there was nobody that came out that said that they gave him that or whatever. I don't know, the whole Charlie Sheen thing was weird. But with Usher, you have these fans that were telling them that, that it happened. Now, a picture of this girl apparently was posted on Instagram. And she was actually dancing with Usher on stage. I don't know if it's confirmed or not. And stuff like that. But, I don't know. But we're going to be reacting to this. Let's get into it. Let's not waste any time. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to be reacting to this right now. Alright, so let's take a little look at what. Osher has been up to, alright, so, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. My name is Quantasia Sharpton, I love Usher's artistry and music. I went to a concert of his with some friends a few years ago to celebrate my birthday. I was wearing a birthday crown, and because of that, I was selected to go backstage before the show. Later, a security guard picked me up and asked me for my number. He told me Usher had seen me backstage and was interested in me. After the show, my friends and I returned to the hotel. I got a call from Usher on a block number asking me what hotel I was staying in and the room number. About an hour later, he arrived. We spoke for a while 
and then we engaged in sexual contact. He never warned me about any STDs. It was just after my 19th birthday. I never heard from him again. When I first heard reports that he had herpes, I couldn't believe it. I had a child a year ago and I knew I was negative. But I contacted Lisa Blue to find out what my rights are as a woman. Although I am negative, I was upset by the reports because I would have never consented if I would have. Oh, hell no. I oh, would hell have no. The risk of getting an incurable disease. My health is very this important. Bitch over here. Especially now that I am a mother. I feel that my rights were violated. I'm speaking out today on behalf of myself and others. Oh, you lying, bitch. Some of whom are positive. Oh, she lying. <laughs> oh, she lying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I was gonna take it. So that he does not no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Usher, if you are negative, please say so. Mm -mm -mm. If you are positive, mm -mm -mm -mm. you need to warn your sex partner. No. So that they can make their own informed decisions. Hell no. <laughs> We're TMZ if you like our vibe. Yeah, whatever, TMZ. Um, so, uh, alright. She lying. Because how can you sue someone, right? If if he didn't like, if let's just say he had it, right? But she says that she that she doesn't have it and she had a kid, right? So if he didn't give her it, then why is she suing him? Now, I've just found out some news. Apparently, a week ago, this woman said that she needed money, and she said that on the twitters. Okay. Which is a little bit ironic. And it's a little bit of a coincidence. It's like Scooby-Doo. Okay? It's like, you know, the most obvious person is the villain. Okay? And the thing is with this woman is that she said that she didn't get it. Then what's the problem? <laughs> what's the problem? Now, listen. If I sure listen. Okay? If I, if I, if I'm speaking for my gut instinct, I'm saying that she's looking for a quick cash grab. If I'm being very brutally honest, alright? If I'm being very brutally honest. Because she clearly said it on Twitter last week that she was clearly looking for money, alright? In fact, I'll, sc I'll just share it right now. Let's post it. So, ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't just me thinking that, because apparently this woman did indeed post this on Twitter a week ago. And that's the problem with this whole situation. It's just fishy. Fishier than... You all know what I mean. It's, it's, it's incredibly fishy for her to say this and, and to come out with a press conference and... Oh, I, I don't have it. But um, I'm still going to get that money though. I'm still going to get that money. Y you see, that's the problem. And that's one of the things, like, I remember always people would say to me, Jerry, do you not want to be famous on YouTube? Jerry, do you not want to be famous in the, like, the wrestling scheme of things? Don't you want to be, like, number one on YouTube? And the answer is no, because you have weirdos like this that, that make accusations. And, and I'm sure she, listen, okay? There's been a picture where she was, like, with us here. I'm sure she... Listen, it's 50-50 whether she went with him or not, okay? Let's be honest, all right? Um, but at the same time, at the same time, uh, she's clearly looking for money, okay? And, and that's really what the problem is. Is she really worried about her health and well-being or, or, or is she worried about her health and well-being? And that's really something to take away from this, like... Bitch, you lying. <laughs> you lying. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true, okay? She's gotta be lying, and... The thing is, with this with this woman, is that it's very clear she's after the dough, okay? She's after the money. That's what she's after. Let's... I mean, let's just call it like it is, okay? We live in this PC world of people where you can't say shit, and everyone has to be... Uh, Agreeing with everyone. Oh, we got to respect everyone. No, okay. This is just ridiculous. And the whole situation's a joke, really, to be honest. Like, it really is. It's a complete not a joke. It's crazy. I'm still going to be making those Usher jokes, though.
Fucking shit's hilarious. But, um, yeah, guys, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Um, I know it hasn't been that much since I've uh, uploaded videos. I honestly, when it comes to professional wrestling, I, there's really nothing to talk about. Um, I'll probably be uploading something around SummerSlam, maybe slightly before. You never know. But, um, but yeah. Uh, if you like this video, please put a like on it. It would really appreciate me um, if you guys could do that um, and also comment as well. And also share the video and share some support. Um, I know non-wrestling videos don't get that much viewership. But um, I really would appreciate if you guys could support the video and stuff like that. We're actually nearly at 4,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Sign it out.